Biological Pollution Outdoor air pollution in cities is a major health problem. Yet air pollution can occur where you least expect it, your house. Studies have shown that indoor air quality can be worse than the air you breathe outdoors. This topic explains biological indoor pollution, the health effects of some of the pollutants involved, and how to control their growth and build up. It also describes corrective measures for achieving moisture control and cleanliness. What causes biological pollution? Biological contaminants include bacteria, viruses, animal dander and cat saliva, house dust, mites, cockroaches, and pollen. There are many sources of these pollutants. Standing water, water damaged materials, or wet surfaces also serve as a breeding ground for molds, mildews bacteria and insects. What does biological pollution mean? Biological pollutants are substances in our environment which come from living organisms and can affect our health. They include things such as pollen from trees and plants, insects or insect parts, certain fungi, some bacteria and viruses, and even animal hair, animal skin scales, saliva, and urine. What is biological pollution of water? Like physical and chemical pollution, biological pollution is mainly due to human interference. Some microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses or fungi that contaminate water or lead to human disease, are examples of biological pollution. What are biological pollutants? Biological pollutants are living organisms. They promote poor indoor air quality. Some pollutants can damage surfaces inside and outside your house. Biological pollutants can travel through air and are invisible. Common indoor biological pollutants, animal dander, minute scales from hair, feathers, or skin, dust mites, insect parts, fungi, mold, infectious agents, bacteria or viruses, pollen, etc. Some of these substances are found in every home. Two conditions are essential to support biological growth, nutrients and moisture. These conditions can be found in many locations, such as bathrooms, damp floors, wet appliances such as humidifiers or air conditioners, carpets and furniture. What is mold? Mold is a common term for fungi that have a cottony or woolly appearance. Molds produce tiny spores, reproductive bodies similar to seeds, to reproduce. When they land on a damp spot indoors, they begin growing and digesting whatever object they are growing on in order to survive. Health Effects of Biological Pollutants All of us are exposed to biological pollutants. However, the effects on our health depend upon the type and amount of biological pollutants and the person's susceptibility to them. While some people show no reactions to certain biological pollutants, others may experience an allergic reaction or develop an infectious disease. More people seem to be affected by these pollutants during spring and summer seasons. Allergic Reaction This is the most common health problem associated with air quality in houses. It is often associated with animal dander, mostly from cats and dogs, house dust mites, microscopic animals living in the household dust, and pollen. Allergic reactions can range from mildly uncomfortable to life-threatening, as in a severe asthma attack. Common symptoms of allergic reactions include, watery eyes, runny nose and sneezing, nasal congestion, itching, coughing, wheezing and difficult breathing, headache, fatigue, etc. Infectious diseases are caused by bacteria or viruses such as common flu, measles, chicken pox, meaning ococcal infection and tuberculosis which may spread indoors. Crowded places with poor air circulation can promote this spread. Where may biological pollutants be found in your house? Dirty air conditioners or heating, cooling systems, dirty humidifiers and dehumidifiers, kitchen without vents or windows, bathrooms without vents or windows, dirty. Refrigerator drip pans, laundry rooms with unventilated dryer, unventilated attics, carpets in damp areas, bedding, dogs and cats, areas with water leaks. What can you do about biological pollutants? Self-inspection, a walk through your home. Begin by touring your house. 
follow your nose and your eyes. Remember that the two major factors that help create conditions for biological pollutants to grow are nutrients and constant moisture. Dust and construction materials such as wood, wallboard, and insulation contain nutrients that allow biological pollutants to grow. Moisture control Moisture in your home can come from many sources, including showers, kitchen, and leaks or seeps through floors. There are many ways to control moisture in your home, fix leaks and seepage, put a plastic cover in crawl spaces to prevent moisture entering the house from outside, use exhaust fans in bathrooms and kitchens to remove moisture, vent your clothes dryer to the outside, turn off humidifiers if you notice moisture on windows and other surfaces, use dehumidifiers and air conditioners, especially in hot and humid climates. Open doors between rooms and increase air circulation, use fans, be sure that your house has a source of fresh air and can expel excessive moisture from the house, keep carpets clean and dry. Carpets can absorb moisture and serve as a place for biological pollutants to grow. Appliance maintenance and cleanliness, have all appliances such as air conditioners, refrigerators, freezers cleaned and serviced by a professional. Clean refrigerators drip pan regularly. Make sure their doors are sealed properly, otherwise moisture may build up and mold may grow. Remove any mold on door gaskets and replace faulty gaskets. Dust control. Controlling dust is very important for people who are allergic to animal dander and mites. You cannot see mites, but you can either remove their favorite breeding grounds or keep these areas dry and clean. Dust mites can thrive in sofas, stuffed chairs, carpets and bedding. Open shelves, fabric wallpaper, and Venetian blinds are also sources of dust mites. Dust mites live deep in the carpet and are not removed by vacuuming. Where biological pollutants may be found in the home. 1. Dirty air conditioners. 2. Dirty humidifiers and or dehumidifiers. 3. Bathroom without vents or windows. 4. Kitchen without vents or windows. 5. Dirty refrigerator drip pans. 6. Laundry room with unvented dryer. 7. Unventilated attic. 8. Carpet on damp basement floor. 9. Bedding. 10. Closet on outside wall. 11. Dirty heating, air conditioning system. 12. Dogs or cats. 13. Water damage, around windows, the roof or the basement. Talking to your doctor. Before you discuss your problems with your doctor, you should know the answers to the following questions so that he can determine whether your health problems are associated with biological pollutants. Does anyone in the family have frequent headaches, fevers, itchy watery eyes? A stuffy nose, dry throat, or a cough? Is anyone wheezing or having breathing difficulties regularly? Did these symptoms appear after you moved to a new different house? Do these symptoms disappear when you go to school or the office, or go away on a trip and return when you come back? Does your home feel humid? Can you see moisture on the windows, walls or the ceiling? What is the temperature in your home? Is it very hot or cold? Have you recently had water damage? Is your floor, basement wet or damp? Is there any obvious mold or mildew? Does any part of your home have a musty or moldy odor? Do you have pets? Does your home have cockroaches or rodents? Is the air stale? Have you cleaned your air conditioners?
Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.